Hi, welcome to People Tools Tech Tips. I'm Randy Gronke. Today we're talking about formatting dates in BI Publisher Excel templates. So we created an Excel template for our BI Publisher report, and here's how it's supposed to work. We run a report, it runs out, and here's all our dates in the report looking just the way we expect them to do. But here's our problem. We have our XML file with our dates in it. We add that date to our Excel template in the cell, upload the XML file to the template, and run our report for a test, and we find out all the dates are messed up. Matter of fact, none of our dates are actually in the report. It's all just a label over and over and over again. Not only is it the wrong date, it's not a date at all. Well, here's the source of our problem. In our XML file, you're seeing that date as a date because you're a human and you think that's a date. However, what actually is in that XML file is a text string. When we're adding that text string to our Excel template, the template's trying to figure out what to do with that text string. Is it a date? Is it a phone number? Is it a serial number? Is it just a text string? So we get some odd formatting inside the Excel template and it really doesn't know what to do with it. So when we run a report, we get this nothing of all the dates. So how do we fix this? It's really an easy fix. First off is realize that the date field is coming in as the text field. Format that cell that's coming in as a text field, not as a date, not as a general field. Next, we're going to insert a new column next to our date column. This column we're going to format as a date, as the date format that you want for your report. Now, in the cell next to our imported date field, we're going to add the Excel date value formula. And the argument for the formula is not the cell address at the left, but the XDO address from BI Publisher in there. Now, our template may look a little bit weird now, but when we upload the XML file and run the report, we see the correct date and the correct format in our new column displayed next to the text formatting date of what was brought in from BI Publisher. Now we have the correct date in the correct format. So now in this new column, we have a proper Excel formatted date that Excel understands as a date, and you can do any date math or function on this new column that you need in your report. The only thing left to do is to the original column, that is the text string, hide it so the users don't see it in the report and they'll ignore it anyway. So there you have it. We're bringing in dates from our PeopleSoft system into our BI Publisher Excel templates using an XML file. We're just realizing it's a text field, not a date, handling as a dead text field, adding a new column, converting that text into an Excel date format and doing what we need to do with that date as far as formatting or math or whatever. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel and we'll see you next time here on People Tools Tech Tips.